Ladies and gentlemen, the secret word tonight... Anyone falling asleep during the show will be thrown out. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, the secret word tonight is dust. D-U-S-T. Really? You bet your life! Belgium America, creator of America's most beautiful compacts, smartest cigarette cases, magic action lighters, finest dresser sets, presents Groucho Marx in the Elgin American show, You Bet Your Life, the comedy quiz series produced and transcribed from Hollywood. And here's that sterling Elgin American, the one, the only... Groucho! He must be a kigme. Oh, that's me, Groucho Marx! <laughs> Thank you. Well, here I am again with $1,500 for one of our couples here tonight. George, who's first? We invited some bacteriologists to the show tonight, and just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected Mr. Frank Matuccio, and his partner is Mrs. Idella Manicera, who operates a bird hospital. Folks, meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, folks, for Elgin American Compacts. And if one of you says the secret word, he wins a 16-millimeter Apollo Sound movie projector that sells for $129.50. It's a common word, something you see every day. Mr. Uh, Matuccio? Yes. Uh, you're the bacteriologist. I am. Uh, where, where are you from? Uh, uh, I'll call you Frank, eh? Santa Monica. Santa Monica, huh? Uh, and uh, married? Uh, yes. How, how long have you been married, Frank? Oh, about 11 or 12 years. What is a bacteriologist? Oh, uh? a bacteriologist is one who studies bacteria. <laughs> well, well, what's bacteria? The red door oh. of a cafeteria? No. <laughs> Uh, bacteria is a unicellular structure which exhibits uh, uh, some of the fundamental process of plant protoplasm. Mm-hmm. That's very true. You, know. <laughs> you mind if I ask you another question? Not at all. Uh, what is bacteria? The rear door of a cafeteria? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Manicera. Is, is that, yes. Uh, that's an odd name. Is that the correct uh, pronunciation? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Is that, uh, what is it? Spanish? Italian. Well, uh, what does it mean in English? Does it have any (laughs) English significance? I was so busy getting the man that I didn't think to analyze the name. (laughs) Well, uh, Idella, is that your first name? Yeah, it is. My given name. Your given name, huh? Yeah. I guess somebody was glad to get rid of that name. You, uh, you operate a, a bird hospital, huh? That's right. And you're a bird doctor, I take yes. it. Yes. Huh? Can you stand on one leg and go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a doctor, sort of. Maybe you can answer a question that's been bothering me for a long time. What is bacteria? <laughs> that's exactly what the doctor said. Everybody seems to know but me, huh? <laughs> For a bird doctor, you're pretty cagey, I know. <laughs> well, tell me, uh, Louis Pasteur, that's you. Uh, <laughs> how did you How did you meet your wife? Uh, under well, a microscope? Or, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I met my wife at an eastern hospital. She happened to be the personnel clerk there, and uh, she took down my... Um, Steady then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What I wanted to say I was that she pardon, uh, huh? took my application. I, and, uh, was, it a, was it a hot application? No, it was a pretty good application. Uh-huh. Do you have any youngsters, Doc? No uh-huh. youngsters. Does uh, anything exciting ever happen around your laboratory? Oh, not too much. I happened to uh, listen to a baseball game one day, one of the World Series over a stethoscope. You listened to it over a stethoscope? That's right. Mm-hmm. We could hear the, um, the speaker loud enough at the time, so... Uh, my chief, the pathologist, walked up to his office and came back with a stethoscope and placed it over the speaker of the radio and uh, gave us the play-by-play account of the game from then on. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't think you'd be able to do that with a stethoscope. Oh, yes. <laughs> because most of the Brooklyn players didn't have any heart for this world series. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, tonight I'm learning quite a lot about birds and bacteria, and now I want you to have the perfect Christmas gifts from our sponsor. For Mrs. Idella Manicera, Elgin American's beautiful pearls, an ideal Christmas gift for any woman. They're the finest pearls made by man. Oh, I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Thank you. They'll match everything I have. And well, what Mr. about Ducky here? For <laughs> Mr. Matuccio, an ideal Christmas gift for a man. Elgin American's popular cigarette case with today's smart leather-like look. Oh, very nice. Now I can stop bumming cigarettes, I guess. <laughs> now, uh, Idella, what kind of birds do you doctor? Well, we have all kinds. We have canaries and parakeets and cockatiels and parrots and minor birds. Minor Every... bird? What's is that the bird that looks after the miners? <laughs> that isn't John L. Lewis, huh? <laughs> now, do you ever treat any wild birds? Yes, we treat wild birds. They're brought to us constantly. Mm -hmm. What kind? I, well, all kinds. Um, mockingbirds and blackbirds and larks. Everything. Lark, huh? What everything. do you do for a lark? <laughs> Well, we reduce the fractures if that happens to be the case. All You're right. just an old night owl, that's what you do. <laughs> you just don't give a hoot, do you? <laughs> What's the most unusual bird doctoring you've ever tackled? Uh, I once had a pair of penguins brought to me. You did, huh? I've led a very sheltered life. I've never had a penguin. <laughs> what was the matter with them? Did they, they fall off a package of cool? <laughs> no, they fell from a cool place into a warm climate, and that gave them pneumonia. They fell from a cool place into a warm climate? Into a warm climate. That's what eventually is going to happen to me, you know. <laughs> now, tell me, Florence Nightingale, when you were a young girl, a real young girl, I mean, you're still a girl, but uh, did you always dream of someday being a bird doctor? No. I what, wanted, what, what did you want to be? I wanted to be a physician. But when I was a girl, that wasn't being done. My parents threw up their hands in horror. Mm -hmm. so, Have they swallowed them? <laughs> what a vulgar mind I have. <laughs> In just one minute, you're going to work together as a team for $1,500. But first, listen to this. Who said Santa Claus was one man with whiskers? He's every gent giving Elgin American compacts to his gal and sisters. Lives there a woman with a bedroom to her name who doesn't long for an Elgin American dresser set to glamorize same? And show me the man who wouldn't strut with a cigarette case and lighter by nobody but Elgin American. Here's the gift inspirational for women and girls. Those gorgeous, sensational, simulated pearls by Elgin American. What causes this great Elgin American preference? It's beauty, style, perfection with a difference. And to keep all your Christmas shopping very budget nice, Elgin American gifts outvalue them all in price. Yes, Elgin American gifts are first in fashion, first in value, first in the hearts of every man and woman on your list. So make this the Christmas to outdo them all. Give Elgin American. <laughs> Now then, let's see if you're going to be our winning couple and get the chance at the $1,500 question. Fenneman, tell them the rules. Each of our three couples has $20. They bet as much of that 20 as they want on each of four questions. The couple that earns the most money gets the chance at the $1,500 question at the end of the show. Our other two couples are in a waiting room off stage, so they don't know what's going on out here. Here we go. Let's see how high I can build you $20. You selected nicknames for college teams, right? That's right. What college team? How many? You have $20. How much do you want to bet? Well, ten. Ten. What college team is known as the Indians? Stanford. Stanford is right. And they're off down the field with $30. You're going for $1,500 tonight. How much of your $30 will you try? Well, 20 20 What college team is known as the Mustangs? Uh, Southern Methodist. Southern Methodist is on the nose. And now they have $50. Here's your third question. Uh, how much of the 50 are you going to try? 40 What college is known as the Vandals? Uh, V-A-N-D-A-L-S. Tennessee? No. Vanderbilt? No, I'm sorry. It's where the big potatoes come from. It's Idaho. Oh, Idaho. Right. They now I'm have sorry. $10. Now you only have $10. $10, and here's your last chance to beat the other couples. How much of the 10 do you bet? Well, we'll bet the works. You bet the works. What college team is known as the Wolverines? Uh, Michigan. Michigan is correct. And they'll wind up with a total of $20. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks and good luck from Elgin American Compact. Don't wander off now. No, you still you can still get the big question, you know. Groucho, the secret word is still dust. Perhaps the next couple will say it. Just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected a mechanic and a woman driver. And here they are, Mrs. Hilda Mary Buss and Mr. Jack McDonald meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, folks, to the Elgin American Program. And if one of you says the secret word, he wins a 16-millimeter Apollo Sound movie projector instantly. It's a common word, something you see every day. Mr. Uh, Jack McDonald, huh? Yes, you're, sir. You're a mechanic, eh? Uh, are you married, uh, Jack? Yes, sir. Any little wenches? I mean, any little uh, wenches at home? I have wrenches two. at home? Two, sir. How, how'd you meet your wife? Oh, I was invited to a party one evening, and I was told I was to have a date with a girl by the name of Verna. When I got there, I found there was two Vernas, so I took my choice. <laughs> and, uh... I hope you've quit that, though, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> where, do you, where do you work, Jack? Work for Mark C. Bloom, 6210 Sunset Boulevard, open 24 hours a day, good service. <laughs> what kind of a mechanic are you? A uh, garage mechanic. You, you work on garages? Uh, on cars. <laughs> do, you, do you work on them or under them? Uh, under them. Well, why do you work under the cars? Huh? That's where the work is. Don't look now, but my clutch is slipping. Huh? <laughs> Now, Mrs. Uh, Buss, Hilda Buss, huh? That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, where, where are you from, Hilda? I'm originally from River Falls, Wisconsin. What is your husband's uh, occupation? Is he? Well, he's assistant vice president for the Equitable Life Insurance Company. Mm-hmm. That's good business, the insurance business. Right? Oh, I think so, and he does, too. Mm-hmm. Don't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm crazy about it. Huh? How'd you meet your husband, then? Well, I was uh, selling men's real sh- silk shorts, door to door. You were selling men's shorts? Do you model these things? No. I met him in his private business office with a tape measure in one hand, a pair of orchid shorts in the other. Okay. That's how you met him? Yes. That's and right. what, did, what did he do? Well, I was uh, trying to write up an order for him, and they come in the new seven-day pack. And, uh... <laughs> so What's I... a seven-day pack? Well, uh, Sunday is Orchid, Monday is Cardinal, <laughs> Tuesday is Kelly Green. You mean you know people who change their underwear every day? <laughs> So? Wednesday is champagne. No, Thursday is huh? canary. Thursday is canary. I'll get that bird doctor back here. <laughs> Friday is salmon. Saturday is flesh color. Flesh color. Yeah. That's that. No shorts at all? <laughs> I suppose Sunday you spend all day washing the other seven days. <laughs> Well, this is a whole new world you've opened to me, Hilda. <laughs> now tell me, uh, leaky gasket, what's the most common? <laughs> what's the most common type of repair job that you're called on to fix? People come in with a trouble. They say they got a knock and a rattle, but it's all in their head. <laughs> they got a rattle in their head. <laughs> well, what gives you the most trouble, uh, men drivers or women? Oh, men. Why? Why is why is that? The man, he comes in and he wants. I mean, he knows all about it, you know. He, and the woman driver, she comes in, says, "Fix it." <laughs> now, Mrs. Uh, Bus, is this true that women don't know anything about the car they drive? Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, you don't have to. He just said. It. <laughs> Let's see how much you know. For example, you've just stepped on the starter. Now, tell me, what's going on under the hood? makes an awful roaring sound and there's gas going through the generator and jumps into the spark plugs and first thing you know the spark plugs are sparking away and pretty soon I start off the car. Well, can you, what is a microbe? Can you tell me? <laughs> now, Mrs. Buss, I'll give you one more chance. After you drive around a while, your motor heats up, doesn't yeah. it, as a rule? Uh-huh. Now, tell me, what keeps your car from getting too hot? Well, open the window. <laughs> I rest my transmission, huh? 
Thank you. Now, we're very happy to have you both here. You've been a wonderful couple. And George has the perfect Christmas gift from our sponsor. For Mrs. Buss, Elgin American's beautiful dresser set in jeweler's bronze with a look of gold. Notice that engraved floral design, Mrs. Buss. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. For our mechanic, Elgin American's exclusive heart-shaped compact that's definitely different. It's jeweler's bronze that looks like gold. His wife will truly appreciate it. Beautiful. All right, now let's play your bet your life for $1,500. You run your $20 into more than our other couples, and you get a chance at the big question. I can't tell you how much the first couple won, but George is off stage to remind our listeners. The bacteriologist and the bird doctor won $20. Here we go. Let's see how high you can build your $20. You selected pictures on paper money as your category. Is that right? Yes, sir. Here's your first question. You have $20. How much are you going to try? Fifteen. Fifteen. Whose picture is on the $5 bill? Lincoln. Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, the old boy himself. You're on my way with $35. Remember, you're going for $1,500 tonight. How much of the $35 are you going to try? Twenty. Thirty. No, thirty. You're going to try thirty. Thirty. Whose picture is on the $2 bill? Jefferson. Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is right, huh? <laughs> They're on their way. They have $65. All right, you've got $65. And here's your third question. How much of the 65 are you going to try? 60 $60. Whose picture's on the $50 bill? Grant. General Grant is right. <laughs> They're really climbing now. They have $125. All right, you're reaching the peak. You've got 125 bucks. And how much are you going to bet of the 125 125 $125. $125. Whose picture's on the $500 bill? Harrison. I'm sorry, it's William McKinley. That was a tough one. You gambled and you lost. Going to give you a chance to make yourself $10 richer. It's not going to be easy, so concentrate. Ready? What animal do you find on a buffalo nickel? Buffalo. A buffalo is right. (laughs) Thanks and good luck from Elgin American Compact. Now, in just one minute, our last couple will play the Elgin American game, and then we know who gets the $1,500 question. Right now, here's something all Christmas shoppers should pay attention to. Don't tell me your Christmas shopping is done. How on earth do you know what to buy? Me, I hunt and I shop till I'm ready to drop. Get so confused I could die. Save your time, disposition, and money, too, where they sell Elgin American compacts. They're perfect. They're smart. Solve your list from the start. Do as I do. Buy easily. Relax. Yes, that's how to simplify your shopping and still give beautiful gifts. Buy Elgin American Compact for all the women on your Christmas list. They'll be thrilled with the elegance and perfection Elgin American stands for. You'll be delighted with the values. Price from just $3.95. $2.95 for American Beauty Companion Compact. Whatever you pay, even for sterling silver or 14 karat gold, you'll give the best gift at the best price with the best compacts made by Elgin American. All right, it won't be long till we know who's going to earn the chance at the $1,500 question. George, who's ahead so far? The bacteriologist and the bird doctor are leading with $20. And the secret word is still dust. Just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected a young couple who are about to be married. And here they are, coming in from offstage. Miss Jackie Hawk and Mr. Don Peckoff meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, kids, for Elgin American Compacts. And if one of you says the secret word, he wins a 16-millimeter Apollo Sound movie projector instantly. It's a common word, something you see every day. Pretty classy-looking couple, I say. So you two are getting married, eh? Uh, Don uh, Peckoff, that's you. Yeah. Uh, when is the big day, Don? Oh, it'll be a week from Sunday. A week from Sunday, huh? How old are you, Don? I'm 25. And, uh, Jackie Hauk. Hauk, is that right? Yes. Soon it'll be, uh, Jackie Pickoff, huh? How old are you, Jackie? Twenty. Twenty, huh? I presume you realize that marriage is a serious business, Don? Yes, I do. Would you be able to support, uh, Jackie, uh, on your income? Oh, yes. Are you, are you sure of that as uh, he is, uh, Jackie? Yes. In fact, we've already worked out a budget. <laughs> oh, you dreamers in for a surprise. Huh? <laughs> Where do you work, Don? I work at Orbach. Is that a second-hand store? <laughs> no. no. No? No, it isn't. Well, I'm sorry. I wish it was. I wanted to buy a second-hand for my watch. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What do you What do you do at Orbach? Oh, I work in the boys' department. I sell clothing for kids from four to twenty, and once a week I take stock. And have you ever been caught at it? <laughs> and Jackie, where do you work? I also work at Orbach. You work at Orbach. How did you meet this fellow in the bargain basement? <laughs> uh, how'd you meet him, uh, Jackie? Well, I was out with a friend of his, and uh, we wound up the same place during the course of the evening. Where? And, uh, Hobnob, Beverly Hills. Who were you with? A friend of his. I said, Don't Stanley. Don't even remember his name? Stanley. Stanley, yeah. Mm-hmm. And? And, uh, and well... you came in? Oh, I came in a little later. And who who were you with? I was with a girl named Merle. <laughs> and what happened? Well, I... I went home at 12.30. Stanley took me home, and Donald picked me up at a quarter of one. <laughs> Why, you little sneak, you, huh? <laughs> now, look, uh, I'm a little past that period, but uh, how did he transmit this message to you that he was going to see you after you had stashed away this other guy, huh? <laughs> well, um, we had a chance to talk between songs. I see. And Stanley Pope. wasn't looking, and he That's quick slipped him the info. Huh? <laughs> he went out to get more clothes. <laughs> Shows you, man, should never leave the room. <laughs> <coughs> what do you do at the store, Jackie? I'm a rapper. A rapper? Mm-hmm. Pretty snappy-looking rapper. <laughs> and how far from uh, from Jackie do you operate? Uh? Oh, about. Two minutes by the escalator. <laughs> Two and a half minutes by the elevator and four minutes by the stairs. There must be a faster way, isn't there? I haven't hit on it if there is. Have you tried squeezing in one of those little change boxes that they shoot along? <laughs> Try that no, next time. How did you shop around before you decided that Don was the best boy, Jackie? Oh, no, I went out on dates. Went out with quite a few fellas, I guess. Before Escalator Eddie popped the question here, <laughs> did uh, anybody else ask you to get married in addition to your mother? Uh, <laughs> couple. Couple? Did she lean over the counter and kiss you when you proposed? Uh, no. She didn't give you a counter proposal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to handle the money after you marry, Jackie? He will, I guess. Is this all settled? Do you agree on that, uh, Don? Oh, we're not particularly concerned about money. <laughs> well, I, it doesn't it's, matter. It's, who no, has. really, it's, it's of no importance, money. Huh? <laughs> now, that is, unless you want to eat or something like that. <laughs> Looking for a room or something. Uh, what's your ambition in life, Don? Uh, mm, I guess my first ambition is to get myself out of debt. Well, I, after you're 65, what's your ambition, huh? <laughs> Are there, are there any opportunities for advancement there at Orbach's? Oh, yes. You, you contemplate staying there? Well, I plan on going to law school in the fall. Uh-huh. Then you're going to sue Orbach, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, t- if you two can stand me for five minutes, you'll have no trouble standing each other, I'm sure. I wish you both every happiness, and I know you're going to have a wonderful time together. Now, George Fenneman has your perfect Christmas gifts from our sponsor. For Jackie, this lovely sterling silver compact with 14-karat gold engraving, an Elgin American, of course. Thank you. And for Don, Elgin American's hand-engraved sterling silver cigarette case that holds 20 regular or 16 king-size cigarettes. Something you'll always be proud of, Don. That is really nice. Now you're going to play your bet your life. You beat our other two couples, you'll get a crack at the $1,500. I can't tell you how much they won, but George is offstage to remind our listeners. The bacteriologist and the bird doctor are still ahead with $20. All right, here we go. You have $20. Let's see how high you can build it. You selected songs with sweet in the title. Is that right? Now you have $20. How much are you going to bet? Ten. Ten. $10. Give me the title of this sweet song. Play, Jerry. Sweet Leilani. Ba 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 ba. Sweet Leilani. $30. Oh, yeah. Well, you got $30. Remember, you're going for $1,500 tonight. How much of the 30 are you going to try? $20. $20. All right, what's the name of this song? Sweet Sue. 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 Sweet
<laughs> Me too. They're on their way. They have $50, Groucho. They have $50, Georgie. Well, here's your third question. How much of the 50 are you going to try? Three, uh, $40. $40. All right, let's see if you can identify this song. Okay, Jerry. Sweet and lovely. Sweet, Sweet and lovely, lovely is right. They're climbing now, Groucho. They have $90. Hey, don't guess quite so quick. We have a fortune tied up in these musicians. Let them play eight bars, will you? <laughs> now you've got $90, and here's your last chance to beat the other couples. How much of the 90 are you going to try? All of it. Well, we have 90. You have 90. Uh-huh. 80? 85. $85. <laughs> oh, that's known as the Missouri Compromise. 80. 85. 85 bucks to go home. <laughs> yes. Give me the title of this sweet song. Sweet song. <laughs> And they wind up with $175, and that means that they get a chance at the $1,500 question. And now, a word from Myron Wallace. Perfection is the word for Elgin American's handsome lighter case. A lighter and cigarette case combined in one handy accessory. The lighter lights automatically when the cigarette case clicks closed. Buy your Elgin American lighter case from 1995 or its companion American Beauty lighter case from 995. Tomorrow, ask your dealer for surefire lighter cases by Elgin American. And here's the winning couple, Groucho, the engaged couple. Well, back again to try for $1,500, eh? Good luck. I'll give you 15 seconds to decide on a single answer between you, so talk it over thoroughly and no help from the audience. Please. Recently, a seven-foot statue of the Mormon leader who founded Salt Lake City was erected in the Capitol in Washington. What is the name of this great Mormon leader? What is the answer you two have decided upon? I think of it as Brown. No, I, I'm sorry. It's Brigham Young. It's Brigham Young. That's a shame. That's a shame. So that means the big question next week will be worth $2,000. Well, you lost the big money, but you received those lovely gifts from Elgin American, and you won $175. Congratulations, and thanks to both of you. <laughs> Elgin American Show, You Bet Your Life, is a John Goodell production, transcribed from Hollywood, directed by Bob Dwan and Bernie Smith. Music by Jerry Fielding. Remember, next week's big question pays $2,000. Be sure to tune in again next Wednesday night at this time for You Bet Your Life, starring Groucho Marx, presented by the creators of America's most beautiful compacts, smartest cigarette cases, magic action lighters, and finest dresser sets. Elgin American. Good night, folks. Have you looked at your compact lately? And if you don't care for music, listen to George Burns sing in just one hour. Good night. (laughs) 